What is going on guys? Coach Show, not the Lions Den. We're in C Bus in Ohio. This gym is absolutely sick. So we brought the gang in here, got some training in. And from my last uh, video, maybe you guys have watched or came here from that video, I'm dealing with a little bit of shoulder pain uh, from pressing. And Matt is kind of like a specialist when it comes to working around pain. We're always riffing. Uh, so I want to get him on the channel to talk about some variations that can help uh, manage and work around shoulder pain. So Matt, Give us a little intro of maybe about pain and how we handle pain, yeah. and then we'll we'll dive into some variations. Yeah, so this is a topic I always love to talk about. Uh, me and Joe kind of have the same mindset on this, and this is kind of what we'll always give our members in the gym in terms of whenever they're dealing with any sort of non-specific pain. So I'm talking, you know, none of this kind of acute pain where they have actually injured themselves, something like a bicep tear, um, but anything that's like non-specific, this is kind of what we'll give them for that. So. In this case, we always want to keep a positive mindset when it comes to pain. So a lot of people will get this instance of pain and they're immediately thinking, I'm broken. Um, and they'll go to, I can't lift, or they're going to a doctor who's going to tell them, I can't lift. And in most cases, again, it's this non-specific pain and physical activity is going to be the best thing we can do to kind of heal ourselves up. So keeping that positive mindset and kind of changing our mindset to maybe we can't do the movement we want to do, the exact movement we want to do, with the load we want to do, but we're probably going to be able to do a variation of work around it, uh, even if we need to change the load, lift a bit of light, uh, a little bit lighter, or with a different variation. Yeah, and kind of like Matt said, we are always more in favor of training through something okay, than stopping everything in general. So Matt's going to give us three variations that we can try, or you guys can try at home if you have some shoulder pain to play with, and hopefully that helps and allow you to still get in volume with the shoulders and manage the pain as best you can. All right guys, so first variation here is gonna be a pin press. You see it's set up pretty high here. Um, and I just wanna clarify, we kinda of talked about that we like people to lift through these situations. And what we're talking about is not ego lifting, it's not being a badass and just kind of lifting through your pain. It's working around it, creating variations where you can get into a situation where you don't have pain. So we're gonna use specific variations to kind of help ourselves out. And then load management is also gonna be important. So. The variation and load management to get ourselves to a situation where we can press without that extreme discomfort. A little bit of stiffness is okay, a little bit of discomfort is okay, but we're looking for mostly pain-free work. Um, so with the pin press, why I would go for this for someone for shoulder press is just because it's taking pressure off in the bottom of the situation, so that's first and foremost. So at the bottom position, I don't actually have to support any of this weight. That's where you may see a lot of problems with people with a shoulder press is just holding that rack position is going to be where a lot of this discomfort is. So the pin press will kind of take the rack position out of play for us. The second part with the pin press is I can adjust this to the height to kind of avoid pain in a certain range of motion. So if I'm feeling pain in that bottom portion of the range of motion, I'm just going to get rid of it with the pin press. So I'm going to set it up high enough that I've gotten rid of that bottom range of motion. There's no longer that pain. I can still get some pain free presses in. Um, pin press looks exactly the same as your normal press. It's just coming off the rack. So I'm still setting up the same, getting my strong solid base the same, driving up, driving my head through, all the same as my normal shoulder press. The bar is gonna support me at the bottom. I get to pick my range of motion and that's how we'd work around pain first and foremost. This will be your variation that kind of looks the most similar to the shoulder press. These next two are gonna be in more, you know, we'll call it extreme instances of pain where we kind of have to modify our plane of motion as well. All right, so we got Joe here and my Edward Cullen looking self. Um, so our second variation is gonna be a landmine press. Um, and like I was talking about, this would be in a case of like more extreme pain. So with shoulder pain, you'll see in a lot of times, people's problem is that straight up plane of motion. Um, so with a landmine press, we're just gonna mess around with that and kind of get the press as vertical as they can comfortably go but the landmine gives us a lot of options that we can go from straight vertical to kind of decreased incline. Um, and we're just gonna keep decreasing the incline until we get into a position where the person could press pain-free. Um, so I'll show you two kind of variations here and I'll kind of talk Joe through. Um, and just point it down here for a second. So this is not a landmine. We've literally jammed this into the corner of a rack. You can jam it into the corner of a wall if your gym will allow it. Don't break your gym's drywall. Um, you can jam it in your butthole if you wanted to too. You can jam it in your butthole. We're strong man, we adapt. Uh, we don't have the landmine, so we're making it up as we go. So what I'm gonna have Joe do here is just a standing landmine press. 
and he's going to kind of press into the rack. So you're going to see that he's not pressing straight up. He's more so pressing on this 45 degree angle. So go ahead. So he'd still be getting this shoulder work in. He's not getting that direct overhead plane of motion. And that's okay in this instance of pain. We're just trying to get him into some pain-free work. We're trying to get that shoulder work in, get that shoulder moving, get some blood flow going. And it's okay that it's not that perfect shoulder press. This is gonna work us into the shoulder press later on. The other thing you can do is I'm gonna have Joe go down to a kneeling position. And you can do this either side to side unilateral or exactly what he was just doing, which is that double press. Um, and again, you're still on that kind of 45 degree angle. You can play around with it until you get that instance of pain free motion. With an actual landmine, what's really cool is you'll be able to adjust it with the pin in the rack. So over the course of time, you might not adjust the load, you'll adjust the height of the pin and get yourself closer and closer to that completely vertical range of motion. Get yourself back to your overhead press. All right guys, so our last variation here would be an incline press. And I know what you're gonna say, Matt, that's a bench press, not a shoulder press. But the cool thing with the incline press is we can kind of take this incline wherever we want it to be. So we can work our shoulders up closer to that range of full range of motion over time. So I can start with a really short incline. In this case, I'd say we're at kind of like a moderate incline. This is what you'd see more bodybuilders use to kind of get that upper chest work in. But in the case of shoulder pain, we're getting that kind of range of motion in where we can still train our shoulder a bit, get our shoulder moving, get that blood flow in. And then over time, I'm just gonna slowly increase the incline on the bench press. Again, we might not be increasing the load on the bar. We're just getting that range of motion back until we get a client back to that complete straight up press. So we're not looking at this, you know, as Matt, I'm not pressing, this is bench press. We're looking at this as a variation to work ourselves back to the overhead press. All right, guys, so we covered our three variations. There's definitely more variations you could do in an instance of shoulder pain. Um, I just wanted to give you three real quick ones. The other thing I'd say is if you're super frustrated because you have that kind of shoulder plane in that vertical range of motion, um, the thing you can do is focus in on your bench press for a short period of time uh, and just get that work in with your shoulder. Uh, when someone's showing an instance of, you know, that more vertical plane range of motion pain, they usually can bench press. It's a little weird. You usually have one or the other. You usually have shoulder pain in the bench press or shoulder pain in the overhead press. Of course, you could have it in both, but usually, anecdotally, you'll kind of see it one or the other. So if you're really frustrated with, you know, only having a little bit of load on your overhead movements, just focus in on your bench press, have some fun with it, and that'll kind of get you through that instance of pain. And again, keep you in a positive mindset overall. Um, that's huge in any instance of pain, is staying positive with it. You're not gonna be lifting the loads you wanna be lifting. You're probably not gonna be doing the exact variation you wanna be doing, but all this work is going to get you back to that variation. It's going to be sitting on the couch where your pain's not gonna go away. And in most cases, especially in cases of things like low back pain, that inactivity is going to make that pain, generally speaking, worse, and it's not gonna get better for you. So staying physically active, even if it's not lifting the loads that we want, and even if it's not doing the variations that we want, is huge, so just stick with it, stay positive, and you will get through it. There you guys have it, guys. Coach Matt, absolutely killing it. Uh, like Matt said, we both agree on this. Obviously, we work together, so we exchange these thoughts, and when either of us have tweaks, or some aches and pains, this is the protocol we put in place. This was specific to the press. We've been doing a lot of pressing videos on the channel, so check those out, but more importantly, check out Coach Matt's channel. So, Coach Matt, plug yourself away. Where can they find you? Uh, and we'll put everything in the description and make sure you guys are subscribed to him. You guys can find me on Matt Malloy on YouTube, not the flute player. We're looking to beat out the flute player in 2021, beat him on the algorithm. And then you can find me on Coach Matt Lyonson on Instagram. Yeah, guys, so shoot him a message. He responds to all the comments, the DMs, emails, etc. Does a lot of online coaching and programming, top notch when it comes to the knowledge and also executing in the gym. Uh, but thank you so much, Matt, for being on the channel. Guys, head over, subscribe, and as always, stay a lean, mean strength machine. Peace. Later, guys.